Hey everybody, Matt Zerby here with Wasco Nursery. I've been getting a lot of questions this year on what might be eating my roses. So I thought I would uh, bring a little show and tell and shoot a short video for you to show you what might be going on and how to treat it. Uh, so I brought two uh, samples in from some roses that I collected. And um, this one right here has an insect called Rose Slug Sawfly. And so you can see the damage on there, small, uh, sometimes they're holes, sometimes they're actually more what we would call windows because the insect has fed on the leaf surface so it's kind of made it almost transparent which then may turn white after a while. Um, sometimes that center area just gets completely uh, chewed out into a hole and uh, sometimes you're just going to see little little dots on the leaf but this is damage caused by the rose slug sawfly and if I flip this over uh, we'll be able to uh, see the insect, I believe. Where did he go? Um, right over here is a rose slug sawfly larva feeding on the underside of the leaf. So this insect is a fly-like insect that um, lands and lays eggs on the leaf. The eggs hatch, the larva comes out and they start feeding on the underside of the leaf. They will chew these little holes in here. Um, this particular insect, the rose slug sawfly, has about two generations per year. So not a lot, um, isn't really gonna be there forever, but sometimes when you have a lot of them, they can be very, very destructive. It's best to find them early, like right now, and um, either spot treat or even just pick off infected leaves, um, You know, find those little guys on the bottom side, or just do a little spot treatment before the uh, infestation gets real bad. There are two other types of uh, rose sawfly that we have around here. Uh, one of them can produce up to six generations per year, and that one um, can really be fairly destructive. So um, it is a good idea to check. Um, we don't love to use chemicals willy-nilly in terms of you know, just using it as a preventative. It's best to check and then treat if necessary, um, especially you know early on before that infestation gets real heavy. So, um, so this is a rose slug sawfly. But I also brought another sample over here because I get a lot of people who bring leaves that look like this in. And the reason that we don't like to use chemicals uh, as um, frequently as uh, as some people like to do uh, is because this is this is actually damage done by an insect called a leaf cutter. A leaf cutter is actually a bee. It's a native bee here, and um, there that's what's making these little cuts or munch marks right out of the leaf. The leaf cutter bee is a beneficial insect. It is not something that we would want to spray. It's not something that we would want to apply a systemic insecticide to this plant because that uh, beneficial insect is going to get that as well. So that's why. I like to be real localized and targeted and only use it if necessary. Um, so if you've got something like this going on, again, you can just pick off infected leaves. You can find the insects on there sometimes. Like on this particular plant, I went out to hopefully find a sample because I've had so many people coming in and I had a rose bush that had just this one section, literally just this one section. I actually believe that probably just by snipping this out, and removing it may have just removed that infestation. Of course, I'll check again a little bit later on, uh, maybe after it stops raining, uh, see how bad the infestation is, if there's other areas that need to be taken care of. So um, what can you do about it? Uh, so the first thing is you can fertilize. Anytime a plant is being uh, eaten or, or stressed out for some reason, fertilization is going to help reproduce new leaves, especially if these leaves are being munched on. We like to use Jack's All Purpose. It's a triple 20, so 20, 20, 20. Um, really effective, you can use it on just about anything, but roses being heavy feeders um, really like to be fed well. So that's step one. Step two, if necessary, again, only if necessary, would be the use of um, some chemical treatments. So these, uh, each of these three products, the active ingredient is listed for the treatment of rose slug softfly. These two right here are not systemic, so um, they're not going to get absorbed into the plant. They're not going to last very long. Um, so I prefer to use these two for rose slug sawfly because we do have uh, beneficial insects that also are going to be in and around the roses. 
Um, so this is eight. The active ingredient is permethrin. This is called bug blaster. The active ingredient is bifenthrin. Uh, both of those are good uh, contact killers with just a little bit of a residual. So do that when the leaf surface is dry. It is important to try and get under the leaf. So uh, that can be a little bit tricky. You can use a, um, we have a little tiny uh, handheld, um, not pump sprayer, but trigger sprayer that actually works upside down. You could use that. Um, if you have a pump sprayer at home, you could mix something like this into a pump sprayer. And then you can use the wand and sort of invert, you know, and spray from the underside. That would work really well. Um, otherwise, just try to drench the plant, you know, drench the foliage as best you can so that uh, it gets on the underside and the top side as well. So um, these are all going to be effective. This would be my least favorite to use. It's certainly going to be very effective, but this is a systemic insecticide. It will get absorbed into the plant and last for about 10 days. Um, so probably would prefer not to use that, even though it is listed uh, for the use of rose slug sawfly. So I hope that helps. As always, you can always bring questions to us. You can always bring leaf samples, things like that. If you think you might have an issue like this, we'd be happy to try to help diagnose. Thanks for watching.